Floyd County Sheriff's Department has a man in custody today who they say fired a weapon, a handgun, outside a BP station here Thursday. Gary Hobson from Johnson County was arrested today following an incident in which he allegedly fired a handgun in the parking lot of the BP station along Route 3 in Floyd County and then fled the scene. Got a call that there were shots fired at the BP station on Route 3. Um, I think Pressburg Police Department, our department, we, uh, they headed that way. Once they arrived on scene, they found out the subject that had fired the shot had already fled. It appears it was all over. Um, they kind of went up the same time, arrived at a gas pump, a little altercation, verbal altercation kind of happened. Um, what, the subject didn't fire the weapon there. He kind of moved away in his car a little bit, and when he did, he just fired out the window. Uh, no, not at anybody up in the air uh, from what other people have told us. And at Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. However, a quick-thinking eyewitness followed Hobson as he pulled out from the station and later phoned police with the information. Somebody followed him and kind of found out which way he was going. They notified law enforcement. Uh, the search began trying to find the subject. As they were there uh, at the scene, our, guy, uh, our deputies and also Pressburg police, they were doing the investigation, getting video camera footage, trying to find out if we can identify the person. And later, I think about 7.30 that evening, an RV arrives back at uh, BP Station Route 3. And in the RV was the subject. Uh, the subject was then arrested at that time and placed under arrest and taken to the Floyd County Jail in a charge of wanting endangerment of second degree. At which point, the case would then be handled by the circuit court and prosecuted by the county's Commonwealth's attorney. Police say they do have a video from the BP and we'll be getting that later today to better help them do their investigation along with some eyewitnesses they're gonna to talk to as well. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Kempton.